Black Lives Matter. The best way to judge a social or political movement is by the behavior and actions of its representatives. For example, do they engage in reasonable, respectful discourse? Lives matter! Do you think black lives matter? We are real! We are real! We're going to give you, we're going to let you on the mic. We are going to give you the mic. Do they possess the emotional maturity of rational thinking adults? They're kids! They're going to hear the water back to the white house! Yes! Yes! Yes, here! Everywhere! Violence! People want... Come here, Drea! Come here, Drea! Come here, Drea! It's our duty to win! We must love and support each other! We must love! We have nothing to lose but our chains. How does the absurdity of this statement escape these deluded fools? What chains do these privileged college kids have to lose exactly? Especially Jonathan Butler, son of a multimillionaire and leader of this particular cadre of intellectual infants. And what kind of progressive principles does Black Lives Matter stand for? Hmm. This from Minnesota. Watch. This group marching at the state fair, chanting horrific uh, things. Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, they're saying. from up here somewhere. It's a sniper? You hear the shot? Get down. Get down. Get down. That's what I tell you. Breaking news, a fresh act of madness in America. At least two snipers opening fire in downtown Dallas during a rally against the fatal police shootings of black men in Louisiana and in Minnesota in recent days. The snipers hit 11 police officers, at least five of whom are now dead, making it the deadliest day in law enforcement since September 11th. Panic and chaos in the streets of downtown Dallas tonight as gunshots ring out. In the crosshairs, police officers. What started as a peaceful protest in response to the recent deaths of black men at the hands of police in Louisiana and Minnesota, interrupted by a hail of gunfire. We got a guy with a long rifle. We don't know where the 
Holy that. Protesters running for their lives, taking cover where they could. I ended up uh, getting shot at. I ran back uh, and I was screaming, run, 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 active shooter, active shooter. Police say 11 officers were hit and one civilian. Five of the officers are dead. Several others either in surgery or in critical condition. We had cops in riot shields, cops with rifles going in the front. All the work police say of at least two snipers stationed atop buildings above the protest. These suspects were positioning themselves in a way to triangulate on these officers from two different perches uh, in garages in the downtown area and planned uh, to injure and kill as many law enforcement officers as they could. At this hour, police say they have now arrested three suspects, and they're currently negotiating with another suspect who is holed up and has been exchanging fire with officers. Currently, we are in negotiations with a suspect involved in these shootings at the garage of El Centro in downtown Dallas. Uh, this suspect we're negotiating with for the last 45 minutes have been exchanging gunfire with us and not being very cooperative in the negotiations. The suspect has apparently claimed that there are bombs planted all over downtown Dallas, a threat that has provoked a massive law enforcement search, placing the heart of one of America's largest cities on lockdown. I spoke earlier to ABC's Adrian Bankert, who's right there on the scene. I mean, you're near some very landmark locations, Reunion Tower, Clyde Warren Park, some beautiful spots in Dallas that locals and tourists enjoy. But right now, we know this was a scene of terror just a couple of hours ago, and it's not over yet. City officials simultaneously dealing with an active emergency and the incalculable loss of five officers. I want to add that... Um, it is a heartbreaking morning to lose these four officers that proudly served our citizens. To say that our police officers put their life on the line every day is no hyperbole, ladies and gentlemen. It's a reality. Police departments all over America tweeting out messages of support. Tonight, the flags at the Dallas police headquarters are at half-mast, and the cover of the Dallas Morning News says it all. Ambush.